Today I want to talk to you about charitable giving. Compared to residents of other wealthy nations, Americans are more likely to give their time and money to help others. Polling shows that Americans trust nonprofits more than government or business, but they generally know very little about charitable giving and philanthropy, such as how these organizations distribute their funds and rules that govern their activities. Giving money to charity can provide personal and financial benefits to donors and be a part of the legacy that they leave behind. If you are thinking about making a charitable gift, either now or when you pass away, there are some things to be aware of so you can make the most of your donation. Total charitable giving in the U.S. has dropped about 10.5% from 2021 to 2022. As a percentage of disposable income, giving declined to a 40-year low at 1.7%. Overall, the number of U.S. households that annually give to charity declined from 66% in 2000 to less than 50% in 2018. Now, nearly half of Americans who stopped giving to charity in the last five years told the Better Business Bureau they did so because they believed the wealthy are not paying their fair share. Others said they just could not afford to contribute to charity. Some statistics paint a rosier picture of American generosity. Adjusting for inflation, charitable giving by Americans was seven times greater in 2016 than it was in 1954. U.S. charitable giving as a proportion of GDP has also increased slightly over this period but has remained at about 2% for decades. Americans grew more generous during the pandemic, with 2020 and 2021 donations both topping any donations that were given in 2019. <laughs> Studies show that 81% of Americans donated money to charity over the past year. And that percentage of those given rising in proportion to household income. About 90% of households making $100,000 or more give money to charity each and every year. So where are Americans donating? There are approximately 1.5 million charitable organizations in the U.S. Generally, the IRS defines public charity as any organization that receives a substantial portion of its income from public donations. Many, but not all, charities qualify as tax exempt under IRS rules. The 501c3 tax exemption, known as the Charitable Tax Exemption, allows qualified organizations to avoid paying federal corporate and income taxes for most revenue sources. Designated 501c3 charities are also able to solicit tax deductible contributions that allow donors to deduct money given to those organizations on their tax returns. A gift made to a qualified tax-exempt organization as part of an estate plan can help to reduce estate taxes as well. To meet tax-exempt IRS requirements, an organization must exclusively exempt for one of these purposes, charitable, educational, fostering of national or international amateur sports, literary, prevention of cruelty to animals and children, religious, scientific, scientific or testing for public safety. Charities, foundations, and nonprofits can gain 501c3 status if they satisfy IRS tax rules. These philanthropic entities can provide or can include private foundations, community foundations, corporate foundations, limited liability companies, donor advised funds, and even crowdfunding campaigns. The nation's top 100 charities received more than 61 billion in private donations in 2023. They include Feeding America, United Way, St. Jude's Children's Hospital, Salvation Army, Habitat for Humanity, Goodwill, YMCA and the Boys and Girls Club of America. The decision to make a charitable donation can be motivated, motivated by altruism, financial considerations, or maybe a little bit of both. 
These donations can take the form of accounts, tangible personal property, and real estate. A donor can choose to leave all of their money and property to charity at their death. A gift made during a donor's lifetime can result in an income tax deduction, provided that the charity is an IRS tax-exempt organization. For cash contributions, eligible itemized deductions for charitable contributions can be made up to a certain percentage of the donor's gross income. Limits also apply to gifts of appreciated securities or property in a single year. There may be further limits on charitable gifts depending on how they are given. For example, directly to a charity or a private foundation or using other strategies such as a donor advised fund. Appreciated securities may additionally bypass the capital gains tax if they were given to a charity during a donor's lifetime. When charitable gifts are part of an estate plan and transferred to the charity upon the donor's death, they can remove money and property from the donor's taxable estate, thereby lowering the donor's estate tax liability if one exists. There is an unlimited charitable deduction for estate plan gifts to charities. Gifts of this type can take several forms, including charitable trust, retirement accounts such as individual retirement accounts and 401ks, and gifts made via charitable foundations and donor advised funds. Let's talk about what to know before you start to give. While it may be better to give than to receive, donors who plan to make a large charitable gift during their lifetime or at their death should temper their generosity with caution. So here are some things to look out for. First, you wanna make sure the organization you donate to is a reputable charity and not a scam. Charity fraud schemes that seek donations to fake charities can take many forms. Charity scams proliferate on the internet, particularly on social media. They can involve emails, text messages, crowdfunding platforms, and phone calls. So be sure to thoroughly vet an organization before donating. Look for red flags such as time urgent pitches and names and website addresses that closely mimic real charities. You want to check that the charity qualifies for a tax deduction. Charitable donation tax breaks provide an extra incentive to support a good cause. The IRS provides a search tool for groups that are eligible to receive tax-deductible charitable contributions. The next question to ask is, can you afford it? Charitable giving is not solely an activity of the rich. Households earning 40,000 or less give money with lower frequency than those households with higher income, but only by about 20 percentage points. Tax breaks are just one consideration for charitable giving. Many people donate to charity for primarily altruistic reasons. However, the gift should not come at the expense of your financial security. Experts recommend starting with 1% of your income, and if you can afford more, working your way up from there. You also want to get estate planning and tax advice before you start giving. It's not too late to make philanthropy a part of your legacy, but whether you are new to charitable giving or you want to step up your gifts, there are strategies to follow that can increase the value of your charitable efforts. However, your plan to give, or whoever you plan to give to, the rules around charities can be complicated and options allure. For professional advice about giving to charities, choosing what and where to donate, and the different gifting strategies that are available, you want to meet with your estate planning attorney that has been helping you and your family. So I want to thank you for watching. I'm attorney Kelly Longton, founder of Kelly Longton Law, where we provide effective estate planning for everyday families. Please like and subscribe our page below to learn more about estate planning.